Bertukov is setting up for the free kick against France. He seems to be taking his time. Trying to perfect the ball. He's backing up. You see the crowd. It's wild. Bertukov is sprinting. He takes the shot. Go! by Roberto Carlos. One zip against Frank. Thank you, Luis. We're going to take a look at how physics helped Carlos get that ball into that goal post. Here we see Carlos setting up the ball so that the air valve, which is the pressure point of the soccer ball, will face him. Here Newton's law is also at work. The ball is at rest relative to the ground and it will not be put into motion until it's acted upon by an outside force. Carlos's foot. He runs up, he kicks the ball, and boom, there it goes. The crowd is going wild, but we're going to take a closer look at how there's so much science behind that goal. Carlos kicked the ball hard enough with the appropriate spin and enough distance. He was about 35 meters out from the goal post, and that helped him get that ball in there. But even more so, the spin, the actual spin. Here we see ball being kicked and there it goes, it whips around. It has a snail shaped trajectory. That is the path of motion that ball had and it goes right around that, those players. If gravity was not acting on that ball, it would continue to spin in a circle, creating the shape of a snail's shell. And there you see Barthez is in shock. He did not expect that ball to make it past him.